Okay, so back to our Ram 2500 with the Cummins 24 valve turbo diesel, 2000 year model. We were doing uh, testing uh, for the lift pump. You should be able to see the new FAS pump down in there. Focus on it. There we go. All right, so what we've done now is we have the power distribution center uh, cover off the relay out here that would be this one right here there's a relay this prevents the VP44 from actually being able to uh, turn the fuel on and start so what we're going to do we have our uh, verse versus uh, or Varus I'm sorry uh, scope hooked up in a digital uh, voltmeter to the lift pump and we're going to just bump the key here. We also have the pressure gauge connected. We're just going to turn the key on. Yeah, just a brief pulse of voltage there. It's supposed to actually be about two seconds, I believe. No pressure right now on the pressure gauge. We're going to bump the starter. Okay, and there you see voltage on this pump now is at 12 volts. And you can actually hear the pump running and uh, we have about 19 18 and a half 19 pounds that is pre-filter the outlet of the pump we're going to uh, move test port fittings here after this video over here to the actual to, there it is to the actual inlet of the pump after the filter double check our restriction but uh, you heard it shut off just now. So um, that's the cranking fuel test. We should have about seven pounds right now with the cranking. Um, I can't can't do both. I can't run back and forth. So I'm gonna move the gauge over here. We should have about seven pounds, and there it kicks back up. Now, there is both a, a cranking and a running test. Relay back in there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Remember, Ozark Diesel Off Road. Come see us. Yeah, let's see if you can hear me now. Ozark Diesel Off Road. Come see us. Remember, we're still looking for a uh, YouTube video editor. Anyone that wants to handle that, give us a call. Have a good one.